Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will introduce a new gene ontology tutorial that is called Go Agri version 2. So actually this gene ontology tool was previously known as EasyGo and AgriGo, but recently they have updated the version and now it is called as AgriGo version 2. So how you can access to this tool, you can simply go to google and you can write agrigo and uh, hopefully yeah here is the first link uh, and actually this agrigo tool was published by china agriculture university and uh, you can see its citation and uh, it was published in nucleic acid research in 2017 so actually this tool is really helpful for all the agriculture species including animals so as here you can see we have analysis tab from plants i mean they covered almost all the families and then they have for animals including fish birds amphibians and even they have fungi and here are the species listed then they have custom tools for i mean if you have your own gene list and your own go ids so of course you can also perform that single enrichment and then you can perform single enrichment comparison then DAG dryer then scatter plots and even if you don't know and your IDs are not working so you can use this blast for ID to know okay actually your sequence has what type of specific IDs which can be used in this database and then we have downloads and then we have the statistic I mean how many number of species are there and here you can check your species if it is listed there then we have manual i mean how you can upload your data and how you will get back your results and how you will get back to the results interpretation so uh, next now i can perform our first analysis uh, using this so we will use uh, in today example so i will show you a list of those genes which i have actually taken from rice so uh, let me copy this and we will perform our single enrichment analysis for this video using this go agri tool so i will simply copy all these ids i don't know how many they are yeah actually they are 392 so i will simply copy all these ids and i will go back to home so because the these ids belong to rice so i will go to plants and rice belongs to poesy so i will go there and as here you can see if you want to perform single enrichment analysis you can use this but even you can perform parametric analysis of gene set enrichment that is also called page and then we can perform cross comparison we have customized comparison and uh, we have visual gene ontology so in this example i will be searching oriza sativa yeah you see here uh, the ids belong to oriza sativa japonica or indica you can choose both so as here you can see these boxes are indicating that following types of ids uh, you can use in this box and i mean your query list so here you can see you can start uh, gene starting id from loc and then you can also use ids and locus ids from gramine you can also use ncbi database you can also use ensemble ids you can also use uniprot ids so i mean this tool is super helpful and even you can use pdb ids so i will paste there that all ids so from here we can select our database i mean which database you want as a background so i will suggest you you can go with uh, suggested background and if you want to go with advanced option so of course you can go but if you are new user and you are not concerned and so i will uh, suggest you you can keep this as such you don't need to change but if you want to adjust according to your own taste so it is up to you and from here you can adjust the parameter but for this example i will go with the default values and i will simply submit 
once I will submit it will give me an ID of my job so you see here once I will submit you so you see here the processing is continue and we have to wait and you see here uh, our job has been submitted successfully and we can save that ID uh, because sometime if uh, there is a lot of load on the server so you can simply came again later even sometime I tried results of different species and it gave me my results in seven hours so part your case it may take even one day or two days but it is okay you can come back you can note that ID and you can simply uh, come back again and search your ID so it will again uh, bring you back to these results so as here you can see we have now our analysis brief summary we have this much of go version and we have background reference which we have used that is msu7 and you see here annotated number of genes were 332 and when you can download that list so you see here each gene is associated with its functional gene um, ontology category so it is super useful when you are interested to know your gene is involved in what which possible function can be and here are the annotated number of background references then we have significant go terms i mean out of all these how many significant go terms so you can simply click here or you can see this is a list of significant gene ontology have been generated and now if you are interested in graphical results so of course uh, as we know that gene ontology has three type of categories like biological processes cellular components and molecular function so you can select anyone and from here you can select your format and from here you can select the graph direction you are whether you want from top to bottom right to left left to right i mean you can select anything and from here depending upon the font size if you think the text is too much so uh, you can adjust the font size so let me create one uh, this generate image of gene ontology so i will simply click on this so you see here it will take me to this so you see often you have seen this type of gene ontology and if you want to save this so of course you can go back and save your results or you can go back with the right click and save it as an image so and now even you can download your results uh, in the form of this uh, go flash chart but uh, try to remember if this uh, let's suppose in this uh, example if i try anything yeah you see uh, <clears throat> it is asking you might need firefox to achieve this so you can simply copy this link or you can try search your ids uh, and try this in firefox because sometimes uh, there are problems of cookies and which which actually do not allow the flash player to install so even if you can go to the frequently asked question they have mentioned that ever if your results are not being clearly shown so you can accept the cookies or you can use any other browser so uh, now i will go to the detailed information i mean if you want the tree traversing mode if you want to browse all gene ontology categories and if you want to download you see here each uh, gene ontology category and its function and how many number of genes then we have its value and you see here according to this gene ontology this much number of genes are functionally annotating for this protein modification of small protein conjugation so i believe uh, this agri go and uh, this single gene enrichment analysis is going to be super useful for all the agriculture and plant biologists and even animal biologists so and if you want to create uh, bar plot so first you need to select out of how many uh, you want or you are interested in this so let's suppose in this example uh, we can select all and try to create one bar chart so uh, it may take a while so let me go back and create this scatter plot first yeah you see here 
so it will generate automatic and it will ask you to p value for cutoff and then you it will ask you to run for the bear i mean as a model for your plant so we we because we are uh, using plants so we will use arabidopsis so we will click here to generate our image and you see it is now processing yeah you see here our graph is ready and you see we have beautiful like even we have p-values then we have semantic space x and then we have on the x-axis and y-axis so in this way uh, you can also use this agri gene ontology version 2 which is toolkit and database for all the agriculture community and if you face any problem in the use of this website please let me know in the comment section